the corresponding person to whatever, uh, if you're a male, look at the relationship with your mother. You see? Look at how you feel about your mother, then look at your relationships in life. You see, it's a, it's a constant pattern. See, if you didn't feel loved by your mom, or you hate your mom, look at the corresponding pattern with your girlfriend. You can't feel love with them either. You're probably verbally and psychologically abusive to them. You don't know why, you see. Look at the relationship between a daughter and the father, and you can look at the relationships over and over again in her life, and it's a continuing pattern of the relationship they have with the father. But why, when I say this, it, it, it sounds like, okay, that makes sense, but why aren't you looking deeper into it? If that's the case, how is that happening, you see? And if it's happening in that area, what other areas in your life is it happening? In all areas it's happening, you understand? Until you set yourself free and reprogram your subconscious mind, and I keep saying, using this word subconscious mind like you know what it is, but what it is is the mind under the mind. It means consciously what you're aware of, what you're thinking of right now, that's your conscious mind. But your subconscious mind holds your, your thoughts and beliefs that you're not thinking right now, right? You only think one thought at a time. So what were those other beliefs and thoughts? They're in your subconscious mind, and they're just a pattern, and they, they can, you continue to think the same thoughts, right? That's why a kid, I'll give you an example, an extreme example, so you can kind of put it together. A kid who was fat and was always teased about being fat, right? So say they get older, you know, they, they, they're 200 pounds in their kid, a female, and then she, she becomes 25 years old. Okay, and now she's lost all this weight, but in her subconscious patterning, she still hears the I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm fat. So then she becomes anorexic. Then she becomes skinnier than, 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 I mean, uh, than somebody in Somalia with, that hasn't eaten in, in years, right? And she's still in her mind saying, how, and we go, what is this anorexia thing? How can she, she say she's still fat and starve herself? And she's looking, she's bones because the subconscious patterning, the subconscious patterning is still there of I'm fat, I'm fat, and I'm fat. So every time she looks in the mirror, she has that same pattern of I'm fat, you see. Until she changes that pattern, then she's always going to see herself as that because she just, her reaction is nothing but a, a, a pre-programmed thought, you see. So so in order for you to succeed in anything and, and go live your dreams and desires, the fundamental foundation of that is reprogramming those thoughts. They don't serve you. But you the deeper question, you have to see, we're going to go to a lot of different levels because you, you, this is deep shit. This isn't something you learn in school. This is something that I'm teaching you so that way you can live full out because I want you to express your desires. Because every human being on this planet has the right to do that, to live a glorious and full and fulfilled and happy life. That's the way life really is, you see. So then the question comes, where is the programming coming from? If you didn't program yourself. You wouldn't program yourself to be broke, would you? Why would you do that? Would you, would you program yourself to be angry all the time? Would you program yourself to have terrible relationships all the time? Huh? So the question still bears, who is doing the programming? You see? So once you understand who's doing the programming and where the programming comes from, then we can understand why you were programmed that way. Then we can understand where the, what the programs are, and then we can focus on, okay, how do we reprogram the programs that are already in there? You see? The subconscious mind is, a, is, is your computer. It is the computer, you see. It is the computer, and you can't you, – most people fight against their subconscious mind, and, and so they're always arguing with themselves and saying, no, I don't want this, I want to be this, I want to be this. Your subconscious mind doesn't have any emotions about it. Your subconscious mind isn't is an objective. It's just the way it is. It's the way it's programmed, right? It's almost like if you program your computer to do something, to, to, to turn off at 3 o'clock every day, then you argue with it and go, no, don't turn off it. I don't want you to turn off. No, I want you to stay on until 4 o'clock. Stay on the 4 o'clock. It's useless, right? It's just programmed. It doesn't have any thoughts about it. It just does what it's programmed to do. So you can look at your subconscious mind in a similar pattern, you see, same, same, same type of, of scenario. So you, people are constantly, like the person who, who's anorexic, and use that same example. She's constantly in her conscious mind saying, I want to be skinny, I want to be skinny. But she's pushing against her computer program that's already programmed to say she's fat, you see. And so conscious mind always wins because it's, it's, it, you, can't, you can constantly stay aware for a, a, a moment while you're thinking about that specific topic. But after that, every song on autopilot, you see. 
you can't think about like right now you're not thinking about your money or you may be now because I'm talking about it but when you were doing whatever you're doing before when you're making music you're not thinking about your finances right so but it's still in your consciousness it's in your subconscious awareness not in your conscious awareness you only can be aware of one thing at a time your consciousness is only to focus on one thing at a time period you see so then that leaves the other stuff just on on a regular pattern you see and this is this is this is the fundamental laws to your success. You see, I'm not saying anything that that's uh, you know out of the ordinary. That that's you know it's so unbelievable, right? I mean, I hope I'm not. I'm just, that these are just basic psychology, and I'm trying to teach you so you can really reprogram yourself and and, and, and succeed farther than you ever done before. You see, I spend a lot of time studying this, and, and as you can tell by the way I speak, I'm very knowledgeable about it. It's been something I just read in a book, and I'm repeating to you. You see. Whatever I give you, I live it. You see, I give and live it. You know, I don't just talk it and preach it. You see, a lot of preachers preach things, but they don't, they don't live it. I live everything I say, you see. And that's why you can hear sincerity in my voice, because I'm telling you from my own experience. I'm not telling you from something that somebody else told me, which is what most people do, which is how you become programmed, you see. So who are the programmers? Who is programming you? Well, and when were you programmed? Well, you incarnated into this reality. Now, however you believe it was, you know, whatever religion you are, they probably have different ways of explaining the way you came in, and I'm not here to debate that because it's irrelevant to what I'm teaching you right now. I have my own personal beliefs, but they're not going to, I'm not going to press those onto you. It's no point, you see. There's no point in getting your defense mechanisms up because you'll never, you won't put them down, and you'll discredit whatever I'm saying because then you would have to believe everything I'm saying in order for your defense mechanisms to not kick in, and so we don't want to go that route. So, we'll say once you come into this planet, planet Earth, right, or that's the term we call it, we don't know what it is, it's just here, but that's what we label it. So, we'll say once you incarnate, then from there, you have, you're in, you're, they say you're in beta state, and I don't want to even start going to that though, because then you, you don't even understand what I'm talking about. So, we'll just say you're in a really open state, you don't know anything, right? So, from there, that's when you begin programmed by what you see by what you're hearing, what are your parents teaching you, what are they, how, how was their dialogue about money, are they always fighting, where is their relationship like with each other, you see that's what's programming us from baby, because that's, that's the first things we begin to see, and we take on those characteristics automatically, see it's not like they have to tell us, you know, they, they may say don't do this or don't do that, don't be like me, but see that's, that's, that's um, that, that doesn't matter what they say, it's all about you, you're picking up on their actions, and these are the people that protect you. So you, you naturally begin to, to view the world in those type of ways, you see. And, and, and whatever you saw when you were a kid, whatever they were telling you, then you, you bring in the social the social uh, pressure, which is when you get to school. And then, you know, you hear the kids saying things. Teachers are telling you things. The media is always putting negative things in your mind, right? You know, teachers are putting, you have to go to school, and you got to go to school, get education, got to go to school, get education, got to go to school. But not once to school, they teach you about yourself. They teach you about your mind and your, your capacity of thought. Right? They don't teach you any of that stuff. But they yet to tell you that you got to go to school to be successful. Hmm. It's interesting, right? They don't teach you the laws of success, but they teach you that you got to go to school to be successful. That's, that's kind of ass backwards, right? But anyway. We look at the media. The media is the biggest program. That 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 television box. You see, I haven't watched TV. Actually. I don't. I never watched TV really anyway. You know, after I've been getting into this stuff, because I realized I had to deprogram myself from the negativity. But the media. I mean, the television is just. I mean, it's just god awful. I mean, it's like hell. I mean, you watch the news, it's, it's hell. If you watch the news, you're living in hell. That's what hell looks like. I mean, literally, right? Murder, death, rapes, killings. Everybody's losing things, financial crisis, swine flu, right? So just think about when you were a kid, nothing's changed, you see. It's just something new. It's always something negative for them to broadcast. Think about when you were a kid, it was all negative stuff you don't remember, but they were broadcasting. You think about if you have a little brother or a son or a daughter or a niece or a nephew or a little cousin. They don't really understand what's going on, but they're getting all this negative energy from the TV, right? They, they hear it. They don't really understand it fully. So when you were a kid, you got things you didn't understand fully, right? 